Welcome back to another video. We're going to take a look at how we can create a stencil that we can use to texture our objects. So this will be the case study. If I will jump within the texture paint workbench over here, we're going to see that I have the stencil position over here. I have the possibility to have this rotated. If I want to position it on the model, I can do that using the mouse. And afterwards, if I will hold down the left click, I'm going to have the possibility to have that transferred to the 3D model. And if I want to swap that to a different uh, position, for example, the different eye, I can just hold down right click, hold down control in order to have this rotated. For example, maybe I want to position it like this. And afterwards, I have the possibility to have that added to the model. If I'm going to go back to the layout, I will see how those texture will, will look like. So let's get started with this scene. I'm going to create a new general file within Blender. I will delete the default cube, press Shift A, add in a monkey. I will press Ctrl 2 to add a subdivision um, level 2 for this one, as you can see over here. Now, with this object selected, I will go within the UV editing. And over here, we're going to see that Susan Monkey already has the UV unwrapped. Therefore, I will just um, create over here a new image. So go to Image New. This will be used for the um, UV map uh, texture. So this will be that map. I will call this, um, let's say, default. You can increase the resolution if you want um, better looking decals on the model so i will increase it like this i can also change the base color to something like white and over here we have the possibility to create it either blank so we're gonna have um, that or we can use the color width but in this case i will use color and blank afterwards you're gonna hit ok and we're gonna see how those uv tiles will be automatically filled to the new high resolution texture over there. Now to add the stencil, we need to go within um, the texture paint workbench over here. And underneath texture, so we have the brush settings over here, go to texture. And we need to create a new texture, we can also create it over here or we can go on the bottom on the texture have it created afterwards i will click open so this will be where you have to load the stencil in my case i already extracted this uh, blender logo as a png file so i have that already saved on my desktop i'm gonna go on desktop and we're gonna see that blender png so for the texture, this is pretty much all the change that you, you need to apply. Afterwards, go back to the tool option for the active workbench. And over here, I'm going to change this from tiled to stencil. And now we're going to see how that stencil will appear. If I'm going to hold down the right click on the stencil, I have the possibility to have it pan on the viewport. If I'm going to hold down also control, I have the possibility to have it rotated. And with shift, you can make it smaller or larger depending on the position with shift alongside the, the right mouse button. Now, if I'm going to position, for example, the stencil over here on the, on the head of the monkey, if I will try to have this applied, we're going to see that we're going to have a warning missing material texture that are not linked. So we have that generate over here, but we also need to go within the shading. And we're going to see that within the shading, we don't have any material. So I will click on new to define a principal BSDF. And from the base color, I'm going to hold down the left click and type in over here. You're going to search for image texture color. You can also type in image that will filter them uh, like this. I'm going to choose color. And over here, click on the browse image to be linked. And we're going to choose the, the default. So we're going to have that default texture over here. 
this is the one that we renamed so i will just rename this for example monkey so that you're gonna see how that will uh, update over here because that is the um, the current um, texture within the uv18 for this uh, model now we can just go back to the texture paint and we can easily have that applied again i'm gonna hold down left click mouse button and we're gonna see how we can paint that that decal afterwards we can rotate within the viewport and let's say for example maybe i want to position another logo over here on the eye i'm gonna press one to go to the front view if the image aspect ratio is not um, looking very good you have the possibility to go over here within image aspect ratio and you're gonna see that it will slightly change if it's necessary because depending on the image when you have it loaded it may be a little bit stretched so i can position that over there and afterwards i have the possibility to work with it over here so that's how you can easily make use of stencils within blender so I hope that you find this video useful. I'm going to position a similar video over here on the left side regarding Blender. I will add my Blender tips and tricks playlist over here at the top. And I will position also a subscribe button to the right. So I hope you find this useful. Thanks for watching.